Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to take a card and catch it in your mouth. Now guys, this move or trick, whatever you want to refer to it as, is pretty simple to do. I do this move all the time throughout all of my videos. So with saying that, this means that this tutorial is not going to be that long, so just sit back, relax, learn how to do this move, and you should master it in no time. So enough of me talking, and let's jump right into this tutorial. Alright guys, so now there are always a thousand different ways to do one thing, and this is how I do it, so I'm not sure if it's the only way or if there's a bunch of other ways to do it, but I'm going to teach you guys the way that I always do it in my videos, and it seems to work. So, starting off, you're taking a card, and now there are two major components going into performing this move. So now if you were to just to take a card, put it on your mouth, it would not stay. It would fall down. And that is because there are two major components that go into actually doing this move. So the first component is to the amount of moisture you have on your mouth or your lips. So you want to make sure your lips are decently moist because, because if you take a card and say you were to lick the face of a card and then place it on your forehead, it would stick. You may look like an idiot, but uh, the card will stick to your forehead. And uh, the same thing applies when doing it for the mouth. So you want to have moisture on your lips without even sucking in, which is the second component the card will stay. So first component is making sure your lips are a little bit moist. And then the second component, as you may have guessed, is sucking in. So you want to suck in to almost vacuum, because if you take a vacuum and place the card at the end, it will suck in because the amount it's sucking in. So it will force the card to stick against the surface. So you're creating like a vacuum with your mouth. And then that combined with the moisture on your lips, will allow the card to stick. So that is how I want you guys to practice before you actually start throwing the card up and catching it in your mouth. So just practice with sticking the card, making sure you have moisture on your lips and you're sucking in. It's really simple to do, really, really simple. So there you go. That's the first step done. First step, check, check that off, master that. And then once you got that, now we can get into throwing the card up and catching it into your mouth. Now going into throwing your card up and catching it into your mouth. This is more tricky to do than just throwing, placing it on your mouth and sucking in. You know, you could always, you know, try to throw it at a distance. So that works as well. But uh, the coolest one is when you flick it up and catch it in your mouth. So just to flick it up, I'm just tossing it, just rotating it with my fingers and giving it that spin. So that spin just looks pretty nice. You could also cyclone. I've taught the cyclone. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out. I will put it somewhere up on screen right now. Click that. Go check out my tutorial for the cyclone. The cyclone looks like this. So this, you can also perform the cyclone and then catch the card in your mouth. That looks fancy because you're flicking the card off the deck. Just land in your mouth. Looks really nice. Let's see if I can do it right now. Now sometimes that will happen. So I just did that and the card actually didn't suck it in, but I actually got caught it. Look at this. And you want to play that off as like you intended to do that because that looks twice as cool as just sucking it in. So sometimes you'll suck it in, but it will get caught and you'll end up catching it in your mouth like this. And that's so much cooler than actually sucking it in. So if you do, if you do that, don't play it off like you messed up. Play it off like you intended that to happen and as if you're like an expert card throwing master wizard. All that's happening here is I'm trying to break this down as simple as possible. You're tossing the card up or shooting it off the deck, or however you want the card to fly into the air, but you want it to be flat to your face. You don't want it to be like this, you don't want it to be angled, because if it's angled, you're just gonna, it's just gonna bounce off. So you want the card to be parallel to your face, go up, and all that's happening is you're making sure your lips are moist, and you're, uh, you're sucking in, and you want to connect with the card in midair, give it a little kiss, you know, give the card a little kiss in midair, and uh, you're sucking in at the same time. So when the card's in the air, reach out, suck it in, catch it in your mouth, connect with it, and uh, that's basically it. You also don't want to, if you don't throw the card really high up and try to stop it in mid-flight, because it's not, you want it to almost be at that peaking point when it's rotating. So right there, you see how it's, you see how the, the max peak of the throw is about in this general area? That's where you want it to be. So you want it to, oh, hit the mic. But if you want, the, you want the card to be in that general area, so when you're going in, you can catch it with your mouth. So that's basically it. All you have to do is suck in and keep your lips moist. So that's basically it. All you have to do is suck in and keep your lips moist. <laughs> I can't, I can't. 
<laughs> I also wanted to say thank you for the feedback that I got on my Jello versus card throwing video. You guys left some amazing suggestions that are going to be coming up in future videos, and I can't wait. If you guys missed that video and want to go leave a suggestion for a future video, I'll put that up on screen right now so you guys can click on that and go over to that video and uh, check it out. So if you like this video and it helped, make sure to smash that like button. And uh, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. And also, if you haven't already, hit that little bell icon right next to the subscribe button so you guys can get notified as soon as I come out with the video because I'm normally in the comments for like two hours after I upload so I can reply back to you guys super fast and uh, we can start a, little, start a little conversation. If you guys want to connect more with me and have a little behind the scenes look here at No Way Asway, make sure to follow me on my social media and uh, some great stuff. You don't want to miss out on that. So yeah, follow me on social media. Make sure you guys subscribe and uh, watch my latest video. So... I will see you guys in my next video. Bam. Ooh. Before I forget, I'm coming out with a video on Sunday, and uh, it's going to be a card throwing versus video. So one word: ooh black. Ooh black. It's a weird word. It's a good word. Yep.